Good morning. I'm going to go over how to do or how to add a trend to a point. Had a customer call me up and say that they wanted several trends set up and they wanted it on these points in particular. So what I did was is I moved them over here so that way I could show uh, which ones I was going to do. They want to see chiller run, the remote start stop command, entering chilled uh, liquid temp, leaving chilled liquid temp, entering condensing water temp, and leaving condensing water temp. So the first one I want to do is I want to do this chiller run. So we're going to go into the properties. Over here on my side palette, I have histories and then I have extensions expanded. For this one, we're going to want to do a Boolean conversion, basically meaning that every time it changes a state, it's going to take that log. So what we can do is we can name this, we can have this history have uh, go out and grab the name itself. We can do parent parent or you know parent name parent 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 dot parent dot name. Um, so that way it says it'll say for instance it'll say chiller one chiller run uh, for the point name, or you can just rename the history however you want, um, which is usually how the customer wants it. So for instance, this one they wanted chiller one run and then we're going to go in here we're going to configure our histories right now so let's go ahead and since this one is on a computer uh, we'll go ahead and make this 1500 counts we're going to have it roll to where it automatically rolls as it when it gets up to that point um, go ahead and enable so now it's going to enable it's going to record 24 7 click save and if there's an issue where it's in fault, it'll tell you right here in the source. It'll tell you, you know, what, what your faults are or what the fault cause is right here. Um, and sometimes it's a duplicate name, things like, or, you know, uh, just all kinds of different. So let's go back. So I've already done the remote start stop command. So let's go ahead and do entering chilled liquid temp. So this is going to be a numeric. We could do interval or conversion. Interval is better. That's a, basically a snapshot over a time period. So for this one, we're going to say CH chiller one chill water entering temp. History config. We're going to have it do a count every 15 minutes. You can expand that out to 13 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes. Um, I wouldn't go more than more than 30. Um, and we've had some to where we've had to do it every five minutes because we had something going on and we couldn't quite catch it. Uh, on something like this, we want the, rec the record count to be a little bit higher. So that way we can see a longer period of time. Um, you can do whatever your memory on your on your uh, computer will allow you to the jace obviously you don't want to do too much um, because then you start using up the memory on the jace which will slow it up so this one has been set up we're going to click true we have chiller one chill water entering temp like i said you can name it however you want it's just dependent upon you building your uh, your library how you like and then also to the customers liking so that way everybody's on the same page. Like I said, I sit down with the customers and we discuss, hey, this is how, here's some naming. How do we want to name it? Do you want to, let's keep it consistent. And this is what we had agreed on. So click save. That's been done. So now I can right click and copy this numeric interval. And I can go to my leaving right click do paste and basically since I've already so we can do leaving temp verify that our histories are set up boom 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 we've already got the name right we we'll go ahead and enable it that one's done now we can go to condense some water so we're going to go paste. And then we do condensing water. 
entering temp true save right click paste enable it click true all right so with this one what we did is we did chiller one we went ahead and we added those um those graphics so i mean no, those trends so now let's say for instance on the chiller plant so for this particular building let's go to the central plant so let's say we wanted to have an individual chiller page, which we can do. So what, we'll, what we've done before in the past is we'll just break out the piping here, show the pumps over to the side, um, show all the readings from the chiller. But then also you can actually have live trend uh, reports going on right here to where every time you click on that one chiller, you can see all your live trends. Um, we've done we've also done it to where um, for a customer where fan power boxes and VAVs they wanted to monitor damper position discharge air temp and uh, room temp and and then CFMs to make sure that if anything ever got out of whack they can look directly at it on the graphic page not have to pull up a trend and it's already there um, so it just depends on what you want and we'll show I'll do a video on showing how to do that but uh, just wanted to kind of give a quick little overshot on this. Uh, one of the next ones we're going to do is um, lead lag, uh, how to write the sequence, and then uh, just link marking it. Well, thank you. Uh, please like and follow. Um, please ask questions in order for us to be able to improve upon what we're trying to do to help everybody out or give people ideas or, or if there's something that somebody wants to see in particular, please ask. It's the only way we can get better. I uh, appreciate it. Have a great one.